What's the status as far as you know with you and the Redskins as of now? Well, as of right now, I'm definitely a Washington Redskins. I signed a contract to be with them for the next couple of years, and that's the way that I'm treating it as such. And I think the way of approaching it for myself uh, is to make sure that this offseason, uh, you know, I spend a lot of time just focusing on being a better quarterback and being ready for the 2011 season. How did it make you feel the way you were treated the last three games being benched? Well, you know, that's something that happened in the year. Obviously, it's one that uh, we'll have questions and sit down and, and kind of go over everything that's happened and what, the, what do we go from 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 here after what happened how can you go back there and be a starting quarterback well I mean you know there are a lot of things that, that has to be answered and mm -hmm. um, you know for for all parties but I think at this particular time I think it's important for for all parties just kind of keep everything low right now uh, I think what's less said is, is better uh, and then from now on uh, when the time comes when we do sit down kind of iron it out and uh, be able to move forward and so what uh, happens when that time does come to discuss it? We welcome in our insider, Adam Schefter, in North Texas, of course, for Super Bowl 45. And, Adam, we just heard McNabb say all the right things, but what is likely to happen now between Washington and its quarterback? Josh, Donovan McNabb is so smart in the way he handles himself. He's so used to going through all these wars all these years in Philadelphia and in Washington. But the truth of the matter is the bond between he and the Redskins is broken. And in any other season, it would be a slam dunk no-brainer. He would be gone from Washington. But because of the uncertainty surrounding the collective bargaining agreement, and there's that topic again, as it will be throughout the entire offseason, there are questions as to how and when he will be allowed out of Washington, and he cannot be traded until there is a new collective bargaining agreement. That may not happen until August or September, and if that's the case, you have to wonder if the Redskins at that point might not be better served holding on to Donovan McNabb as improbable and as unlikely as that seems. In any other year, he's gone, and the chances are he probably never plays there again anyway, but because of the uncertainty with the CBA, there does remain that one stumbling block.